Good morning, everybody. It is day 71 and just left camp. It's about, um, probably just about seven o'clock now and got another big day to plan today. I think we're planning on doing 19 miles to, uh, a campsite. There was a name for it. Something Creek had like two creeks and a lot of tent sites and whatnot, but um, yeah, so that's about 19 miles away, so I try to get an early-ish start to try to beat some of the heat today. Um, the sun is just now coming up. You can kind of see it through the trees. Today, we're passing the Kefir Oak Tree, Kefir Oak Tree, I think it's Kefir, um, which is the largest tree in the south of the AT, <laughs> I think. Um, it's estimated to be over 300 years old, so basically it's a big tree, but super exciting. I can't wait to see it, you know? That's the kind of thing I get excited about out here, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely try to get some good shots of that for you guys, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted along the way. So, made it to the Kelly Knob view. So this is 120 yards. Um, I guess I'm gonna go check it out. I hope it's worth it. I mean, I know it's not that far, but still. All right, this is where it came out at. And now I'm wondering if I make the effort to climb these big rocks, is there gonna be a view on the other side? Mm, it is this far, I might as well. <laughs> okay, because I'm a scaredy cat, and I don't want to make the jump between these giant boulders. Like, I could definitely probably make that, but like, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to try. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean to sound ungrateful for the view. It's beautiful, but it's not anything we haven't seen before. So, you know, if you want to come see it, come. If you don't, then don't. Oh boy, <laughs> the trail crosses right over there. Hmm, I'm just gonna try to film going across, but I feel as if that is a bad idea <laughs> because yeah, I don't want to drop my phone in the mud or drop my body in the mud. So, oh boy. Dropping in at the Laurel Creek Shelter for a snack break, and looks like I have the shelter all to myself. Love when that happens. Kefir oak tree, the second largest oak tree on the AT. I think the largest is in uh, New York. Wow, she's big. Gonna stop for lunch. This is the perfect breeding ground for ticks. Hi, hi. The trail is so narrow and all this tall grass is just like falling into it. Definitely gonna have to stop and do a tick check after I get back in the woods. 
The clouds look really cool. Yeah. That's like right in the shadow too. You can like hardly even see it. Whatever. They don't hurt you if you want to get up on. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> ridge honestly looks so flat like why can't we just go up and then walk the entire ridge instead of doing up and downs and up and downs and up and downs the puds as they like to call them the pointless up and downs not a fan also if you're wondering um what the rock situation today is um there's the white blaze and this is the trail just totally sloped rock on the side of a mountain, so cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what these are, but I feel like this is the first time I've seen these. Oh, the wind. They're kind of like pink and yellow. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Hmm. I don't know. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Eastern Continental Divide. 1,920 1, miles to the Gulf of Mexico and 405 miles to the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty sweet. So I was originally planning on pushing on to Craig Creek campsite, which is mm, maybe like a mile and a half past the next shelter. But after doing those rock ledges, all of them were on like really steep angles and I'm having some pain in my ankle. So, um, you know, the only thing I know to do is to stop as early as I can and try to stretch it out. So there's a shelter in 2.4, I think the night a shelter. So I'm going to plan to stop there for the for tonight and then um, just tack on that extra mile and a half that I was planning um, for this evening. I'll tack it on to tomorrow's hike. It won't be a big deal. So yeah, I don't know. It's like, um, let me try to describe it. It's like pain in like the, not my ankle, but like the top part of my foot, like running up my shin. It's not up my shin, but like, just like this part, like where my gators are basically. And in addition to that, I've been having like some slight knee pain in my left knee, which is the same, same leg, um, for a few days now actually. And it's not any kind of like sharp shooting pain or anything like that. So... You know, I don't think it's anything of too much alarm, but I just don't know what's causing it. I mean, I'm assuming just like overuse, heavier miles, heavier pack, that'll do it, you know? But um, it's when I like fully bend my knee. So for example, if I'm going down stairs or something like that. So if I'm going downstairs, it's not when I land on my left knee that it hurts. It's when I land on my right leg and my left knee is fully bent that it's giving me pain in my right knee. I mean, my left knee. I don't know if that made any sense at all, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's not bad enough to where I'm like panicked about it, but I don't know. It's, it's bad enough to where I'm like, if this isn't addressed, then it could potentially get worse. So I'm just going to try to do like some major stretching. I don't know what else to do, you know, um, which I will say these next couple of days we're planning on doing shorter miles, like under 15 miles. Um, we have the Virginia triple crown coming up. So, um, we're going to plan to do shorter miles. So hopefully, um, that'll help. But the terrain, it's just like the rocks. My, my legs don't like the rocks, that's for sure, but we'll see. I'm complaining about all my newfound illnesses. Um, <laughs> I thought I should also show some blisters on my hand. 
so that's fun. So I just ate a packet of peanut butter and now my lips are swelling up. Mm, that doesn't look good. <laughs> um, I don't have a nut allergy that I know of and 26, I think I would know if I had a nut allergy by this point. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be fine, right? Right? Everything is fine. <sighs> Who knows? Quite the evening view. I think I've got a little more than half a mile to camp. And I am ready to be there. Second massive black snake of the day, and I almost hit him with my trekking pole. Oof. Go on, sir, go on. Like, I cannot tell you how close I was to stabbing my trekking pole right in his head by accident. Whew. I'm just glad he didn't strike at it. In other news, there's the shelter down there. Gosh, I had a one-track man I was not even paying attention. Well, it's the end of day 71, I think. And made it to the Nide shelter. I think that's how you say it. And, man, I'm just exhausted. I think we ended up doing like 17 and a half miles today. And it really wasn't too bad until we hit those like rock ledges. And the whole time there was just like a lot of like strain on my ankles and on my knees. And I don't know, my left ankle and knee are just like kind of definitely feeling it. So when I got to camp tonight, I did a lot of stretching and massaged out um, my calves. I like rolled my calves with my trekking poles to try to like keep them loose. So I'm just hoping that after a good night's rest, like maybe it will help my muscles recover and my ankle will feel better in the morning but yeah luckily i don't think we have like um a huge day planned tomorrow like 15 miles or so but it is supposed to be raining so i don't know hopefully i don't you know twist the ankle on a wet rock or anything like that but yeah so all around it's been a pretty okay day it's just been really tough and really long but not too bad overall so be sure to check back again tomorrow um to see our rainy day tomorrow 